Welcome, let's begin with very interesting topic for today and that's the health and nutrition and this has been the focus for your January 2020 edition for Kurukshetra. Now health and nutrition have been two basic parameters that we focus on and these are one of the most vital parts of human life. So there are two major articles, one is the article 21 under the constitution of India that focuses on right to live with dignity and protection for personal liberty. So here we have health as one of the major criteria. Another important article that we need to focus on is article 25 this article belongs to the un declaration for human rights and it focuses on right to uh, standard of living with adequate health and well-being for an individual so again uh, the two important rights are very very important could be directly part of your uh, question if we look on to the scenario of india when we were discussing the national health policy 2017 the idea is the expenditure on the health care is only 1.1 5 percent of the GDP however what we aim is nearly 2.5 percent of the GDP should go into healthcare and the healthcare services again the life expectancy which is presently 67.5 years should be increased to 70 years is another target Coming on to infant mortality rate, maternal mortality rate, under 5 mortality rate, those are the new targets and what are the targets to achieve have been mentioned here. So again, it's kind of factual, but very, very important because this could be direct part of your statement type questions in uh, the prelims and your 2020 examinations. Uh, focusing on vaccination and eradication of certain diseases. So leprosy by 2018, Kala Azar by 2017 and uh, uh, lymphatic filariasis by 2017 has been attained. And we are now focusing on reducing the neonatal mortality rate that is under one month and that is uh, by 2025 that's the target again the diseases which are non-communicable but which are mainly pertaining to cardiovascular diabetes and cancer should be reduced by 20% to 2025. That's another one of the targets under national health policy. Now, this is a very, very important topic, even for your mains, national health policy 2017, its recommendations and the action plan. Ayushman Bharat, we have covered it separately in one of the lectures. The idea is to provide free health care to families with a family income of less than 5 lakhs per year. Now, here what we are talking about is treatment to nearly more than 70 lakh patients has already been started and we are planning to have nearly 1.5 lakh of uh, healthcare and wellness centers to be opened by 2022 and this is a kind of revamping of the primary healthcare centers that is already there. Also, we are focusing on Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Yojana which is providing treatment to nearly 75,000 millions of Indian people. The next is the Swastya, uh, Swastya Suraksha Yojana. This is started in 2003 and it was started by which ministry is again important so ministry of health and family welfare is started that the idea is to remove any kind of imbalance between the affordable health care services that exist across the nation to spread medical education to far and wide open up new regional aim centers so you have six new aim centers that are into approval the new locations are important this could be part of your direct question again the next is the asha benefit plan now asha and asha facilitators are uh, basically working towards the routine assessment and the routine checking and they are focusing on uh, the enrollment towards social security schemes and whether it's properly implemented by the government of india or not so you have pradhan mantri jeevan jyoti bima yojana and the pradhan mantri suraksha bima yojana that is important coming on to jeet which is very very important the acronym itself is important it is joint effort for elimination of tuberculosis now india has partnered with the global fund for the launch of jeet uh, by 2000 18 we have focused on the Niksha Poshan Abhiyan which is a kind of direct benefit transfer scheme to provide nutritional support to the TB patients. Also we are trying to connect the private clinics, hospitals and laboratories for the same purpose. Uh, for the treatment nearly 500 rupees per month would be allotted to each TB patient and India is aiming for reducing the TB patients by half by 2025 and eliminating it by 2030. So those are uh, the global goals that are there. So global goals for TB elimination is 2030 and India is trying to match that in line. The next is the National Medical Council Commission Act 2019. Again, very, very important. So it aims at framing the medical institutional policies 
द एंट्री एग्जाम एग्जिट एग्जाम डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द सीट्स अंडर द प्राइवेट कोटा हैज बीन पार्ट ऑफ इट बिसाइज दैट टू इंपॉर्टेंट एलिमेंट्स ऑफ इट इंडिया न्यू बॉर्न एक्शन प्लान विच एम्स टू रिड्यूज द इन्फेंट मोर्टैलिटी रेट और द न्यू बॉर्न मोर्टैलिटी रेट द नेक्स्ट इज द राष्ट्रीय आरोग्य निधि विच टॉक्स अबाउट ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ द पीपल the bpl families uh, would be resolved with up to 15 lakhs of support in nearly 13 government hospitals the next is rashtriya poshan abhiyan which is also known as national nutrition mission we have covered uh, this in detail in the previous yojana editions very very important topic even for your mains perspective so we are focusing mainly on the nutritional status reducing the low birth weight the mortality rate the infant mortality and the maternal mortality along with the hunting uh, stunting sorry stunting and the wasting issues that are there uh, which are part of the global hunger index okay the next is matru vandan yojana now this is mainly for the women which are pregnant and lactating now the direct assistance would be provided into the bank accounts the payment would be done in three uh, installments and then you have janni suraksha yojana where a uh, average woman gets a support of nearly 6000 and the government provisions have already been in line for the same the next is the double burden of malnutrition as we said uh, there are health risk associated with <coughs> malnutrition sorry so what we need to uh, focus on is both the issues of undernutrition and overnutrition at the same go so what are the diseases linked to undernutrition and diseases li leading to um, disease caused due to overnutrition so for overnutrition we usually have the non communicable diseases which are a higher burden so it could be heart disease stroke diabetes cancer however undernutrition is contributing to uh, nearly 2/3 of the under 5 deaths and that is mainly in the form of stunting wasting and underweight also we are focusing on the chronic diseases the viral infections and tuberculosis now what are the initiatives to improve the nutritional status the national nutrition strategy which was launched back in august 2017 uh, finally came into shape in march 2018 focuses on reducing by nearly 2 to 3% in the proportion of low birth weight undernourishment and anemia cases we are also focusing on kuposhan mukt bharat which is aiming to reduce the malnutrition and uh, the issues of underweight and low birth weight in the children the next is how we can improve the nutritional status now you have anganwadi workers you have asha workers uh, midwives who are working in line to provide good nutritional facility uh, this could be in the form of nutritional foods which could be millets eggs milk soya bean and other fresh fruits that are there dietary diversification is very very important concept that we need to focus on also we are aiming to educate more people for health benefits and bring in more awareness among the people so for the health system we focus on the financing issues the providers of healthcare services and digital backbone we are also focusing on indradhanush mission which is the issue of vaccination also we have the pradhan mantri jan arogya yojana where we are talking about the poorest and the most vulnerable families and covering the medical expenses for those families one nation one scheme is another important idea where we are talking about the secondary and the tertiary healthcare services the next is the national medical council act uh, here we have more entries into the Uh, medical colleges that are coming up so it's believed that every 3 to 5 parliamentary constituency would have at least one medical college health technology and data systems would be upgraded where artificial intelligence would be brought into line all the uh, auxiliary nurses midwife would be registered online and this would encourage more public healthcare workers to register uh, for the program and this scheme is known as anmol very very important for your 2020 examination what is anmol now niti aayog has designed a national health stack which brings in advanced technologies that could be brought into the implementation across country we are also focusing on national digital health blueprint 2019 it is a kind of five layered architectural system where you have unique health id uh, you focus on privacy consent management national portability and electronic health record so those are the five layered systems that we focus on a very very important concept again a very important question for your 2020 examination the national digital health blueprint came in 2019 so artificial intelligence as we already said has been very very important 
The next is the Poshan Avyan and the Rashtri Poshan Maa 2019. You had a huge coverage of nearly 25 crore people which were part of it and it has two wings. One is the Ministry of Women and Child Development, the other is Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. Sahib Poshan Desh Roshan has been the tagline for the same and the wasting and the stunting as we said has been one of the major concerns. So you have AMB which is Anemia Mukt Bharat 6 by 6 by 6 strategy which talks about six beneficiaries, six interventions and six institutional mechanisms. So what are the six institutional mechanisms are the National Center for Excellence for Anemia Control, strengthening the logistic supply chain, convergence with other units, the National Anemia Mukt Bharat unit and a kind of digital portal, one stop shop for anemia. The next is focusing on the six interventions and the six beneficiaries. So you have the folic acid, deworming, intensification of the behavioral change, testing of the anemia using digital methods, uh, provisions for fortified food and the non-nutritional cases in the endemic areas where you have uh, higher prevalence of anemia mainly in the regions where you have higher amount of fluoresis and malaria cases that are seen. Under the interventions, we focus on supplements that should be given, periodic deworming, uh, caretaking of the anemia patients, uh, campaign for public awareness talking about iron and uh, folic acid fortified issues and then we are focusing on the, uh, the endemic po pockets that are there. The next is the issues related to hyperplasia and hypertrophy again very very important for your 2020 examination so under hypertrophy what happens is uh, the effect of the undernutrition on the cell uh, is on the cell size however under hyperplasia it is on the number of cells so one focuses hyperplasia focuses on the count and hypertrophy focuses on the size hypertrophy is reversible in nature however hyperplasia once it occurs it is permanent in nature so both of those are very very important the next is educating the masses so under article 47 of the constitution we aim at raising the level of nutritional awareness and improving the public health we are focusing on health and nutrition for all which is the base, basic well-being and a basic parameter that we focus on Mira Aspatal is one of the apps under the ministry of health which focuses on a kind of multiple platform where you can book an appointment, you can have outbound di dialing, you can put in sh uh, SMS services. So all under one channel where you have a complete feedback system as well as a appointment system that could be seen. Uh, the next is you are aiming to enhance the quality of the healthcare services eat right india movement now this is again a new uh, movement that has come up which incorporates a lot of social media platforms and mass campaigns so you have online retailers which are promoting healthy diets and you have online quizzes health and hygiene which is being uh, one of the major issues the next is under, under the anganwadi you have the integrated child development uh, scheme so where you have anganwadi services the matru vandan yojana national crutch scheme adolescent girl child protection and portion abhiyan so all of those have been subsumed under umbrella icds now there could be a very direct question which of the following is not a part of the umbrella icds scheme so very very important topic now coming under the icds scheme we are focusing on nutrition immunization preschool education uh, the nutritional programs the psychological physical and the social development uh, checking out or reducing the inst inc incidences of morality uh, mortality and malnourishment focusing on a coordination of policy capability of mother to look after the normal health uh, focusing on much more dynamic behavior and strengthening the nation the next is who are the beneficiaries children under age group of six uh, pregnant and lactating mothers when we talk about the acute ma malnutrition and the moderate malnutrition cases what is the difference less than minus three z score so let's say if you have a normal probability curve you have uh, the mean then you have one min minus one standard deviation minus plus one standard deviation you have minus two and minus three so beyond minus three is the case of severe acute malnutrition that is seen between two to three is the moderate acute malnutrition that is seen and then less than two is where we call it as the cases of stunted children 
so this is the criteria where we focus on the z score analysis again the percentage of wasting and stunting has been given so anemia proportion less than 5 is highest uh, as per the statistics revealed and then you have higher number of stunting cases followed by undernutrition and finally wasting cases uh, what are the causes of mal malnutrition is very very important so you have poverty inadequate food consumption improper distribution poor maternal health uh, inadequate feeding of a child then you have gender imbalances which are some of the major factors that have affected the malnutrition now this could be part of your mains answer writing so you have to be very careful which kind of questions could be part of uh, which kind of examination pattern where it's a kind of long answer or a short answer questions coming on to anganwadi workers now anganwadi workers major support is with the pulse polio drive where we are talking about eradication of polio we are also talking about the auxiliary mid midwives which are focusing on emergency cases asha workers for healthcare services and then you have school teachers mainly uh, the mahila mandals which are involved with those so responsibility of the asha workers is very very important across the country there are more than 10 lakh asha workers that are there you also have benefits of pradhan mantri jeevan jyoti yojana and suraksha bima yojana that are there uh, the asha worker must be a literate woman between the age of 25 to 45 a resident of the village itself preferably 10th pass so those are some of the criteria to appoint them then you have the curative and the uh, timely arrangement for uh, the medicines and the kits that should be there and these kits mainly involved ors iron folic acid tablets then you have disposable uh, kits that are there and then you also are focusing on home based care of the young children specifically the next is digital transformation in the healthcare systems now this is mainly in the form of e srishti e hospital focusing on national health portal online registration system veera hospital that we already talked about which is a patient feedback system uh, the national medical uh, college network that is being established coming on to the state by state cases in gujarat you have the e aushadi project that has been released chirayu program has been released in chatisgarh similarly rashtriya bal swasthya karyakram has been initiated in the region of andhra pradesh so these are some region by region cases that have been important a very very important topic that we covered and lot of probable questions mainly focusing on anmol national health policy the rashtri poshan ma the anemia mukt bharat where we are focusing on 6 by 6 by 6 strategy so six policies six interventions and six beneficiaries so those are some of the key important topics under this lecture we'll be covering yojana kurukshetra and down to earth summary, summary regularly before your examination and definitely before your examination a many more expected questions are yet to come so stay in line have a wonderful evening ahead